Hi students, I hope you have learned that matter can exist in three different physical states, solid, liquid and gas. In addition to classifying matter according to its state, we can classify it according to its composition. Remember, changes that alter the composition of matter are called chemical changes. Check out this list. Do you know the definitions of these words? What do you think they mean? Can you translate them into your own native language? Matter, ein in Finnish, is something occupying space and having mass, massa in Finnish. The first division in the classification of matter depends on whether or not the composition can vary from one sample to another. A pure substance, puh das ein, is one with constant composition. Most of the matter around us consists of seoxid, mixtures of pure substances. Mixture, seos, is a substance composed of two or more different types of pure substances that can be combined in different variable proportions. So the main characteristic of a mixture is that it has variable composition. Mixtures can be separated into pure substances by physical methods. One of the most important methods for separating the components of a mixture is a distillation this allows a process that depends on differences in the volatility of the components. Volatility means how readily substances become gases. Pure substances can be divided into two types, elements and compounds, yhdisteet, depending on whether or not they can be broken down into simpler substances. Gold, kulta, is a good example of an element, alkuain, a substance that cannot be chemically broken down into simpler substances. It is composed of only a single type of atom. A compound, yhdiste, is a substance with constant composition that can be broken down into elements by chemical processes. Water, vesi, is a good example of a compound a substance composed of two or more elements in fixed, definite proportions. One molecule of water has two hydrogen atoms, vetu atomia, bonded to a single oxygen atom, happy atomi. Notice, however, that in nature, water inevitably comes into contact with other materials, so it is never absolutely pure. Seawater, merivesi, for example, is homogeneous, tasakoste, mixture, because the dissolved salt is evenly distributed throughout the water. Often it is easy to confuse a homogeneous mixture with a pure substance because they are both uniform, yhtenäisiä. The difference, ero, is that the composition of the pure substance is always the same. The amount of salt in the saline water K 
can vary from one sample to another. A homogeneous mixture, homogeneous cells or Dasakos cells in Finnish, is a mixture in which the composition is uniform throughout the mixture. As long as each substance is mixed in enough to be indistinguishable from the others, it is a homogeneous mixture. The common type of homogeneous mixture is a solution, liuvos, which is one substance dissolved completely within another. Sweetened tea is a good example of homogeneous mixture, one with the same composition throughout. Alloys, layeringit, are homogeneous mixtures made by mixing two or more elements, at least one of which is a metal. Bronze, bronzi, which is made from copper, kupari, and usually tin, tina, is an example of alloy. Steel, teras, is an alloy of iron, rauta, which is a metal, with a few percent of carbon, heli, which is a non-metal. Many other additional elements may be added to produce steel with desired properties. Gases form homogeneous mixtures with each other. The air, ilma, that you breathe, is a homogeneous mixture of oxygen, nitrogen, argon and carbon dioxide, along with other elements in smaller amounts. A heterogeneous mixture, heterogeneous cells or secacostane cells, is a mixture in which the composition is not uniform throughout the mixture. If a mixture can be seen to contain two or more distinct components, it is considered heterogeneous. A heterogeneous mixture can consist of multiple states of matter, but sand is a good example. It does not have the same appearance throughout the mixture. You can see the individual components and separate them physically. You can see the particles of sand in the water, even when you swirl them together. A phase, phase, is any part of a sample that has a uniform composition and properties. By definition, a pure substance or a homogeneous mixture consists of a single phase. A heterogeneous mixture consists of two or more phases. When sand and water are combined, they do not mix evenly, but instead form two separate layers. Each of the layers is called a phase. Now, let's summarize. An element is a substance which cannot be separated into simpler substances. Elements are composed of extremely small particles called atoms. All atoms of a given element are identical. The atoms of one element are different from the atoms of all other elements. A chemical compound is composed of atoms of more than one element. The relative number of atoms of each element in a given compound is always the same. Compounds differ from mixtures in that the substances producing them lose their own characteristic properties. The two also differ in that the composition of a chemical compound never varies. A mixture is made up of varying quantities of either compounds or elements or both. 
since each part of the mixture has not reacted with another part of the mixture, the identities of the different materials is unchanged. A characteristic of mixtures is that they can be separated into their components. A heterogeneous mixture is a mixture in which the composition is not uniform throughout the mixture. A phase is a separate layer in a heterogeneous mixture. A homogeneous mixture is a mixture in which the composition is uniform throughout the mixture. All solutions would be considered homogeneous. Okay, that's all for this lesson. Thank you for listening, everyone, and see you next time.